This year, Winchester released two more stay ball powders. In this video, we're going to look at all three. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. This year at the SHOT Show, you saw me talking with Aaron Olger from Hodgton about the new powders from Winchester, Stayball Match, and Stayball HD. We also talked a bit about Stayball 6.5. Now, we've had Stayball 6.5 here in the shop for a number of years now, but Stayball HD and Stayball Match are new to us. We've been working with them. We've got separate stories on all three of these powders now on the channel. You're gonna to wanna to check out the article and video for each of those. Uh, this is my opportunity to kind of give you a high level comparison and a broad overview of all of these powders. Stayball is an interesting name. It's kind of a play on words of ball powder and stable temperature characteristics. These powders are temperature insensitive and they're ball powders. Those two different attributes normally do not go with one another. Typically, ball powders are a little bit more temperature sensitive, i.e. the warmer it gets, the faster the velocities get proportionally. I think it has to do with the increased surface area due to them being spherically shaped, that sort of thing. Winchester worked really hard on the formulation of these powders to give you the best of both worlds, temperature sensitivity and that ball powder granule shape that is so friendly with manually throwing and without the need to trickle and on progressives, the same kind of thing where each time a cartridge is loaded, the powder is dropped from the measure. The more consistent you can make that powder charge, the better. And ball powders kind of lead the way in that particular category. These powders also all have a copper fouling reduction agent. So if you're shooting jacketed bullets, which is what these are all intended for, you're going to get less copper buildup, which is another great thing. And together, these powders represent a really wide burn rate range, really versatile uh, selection of powders here for different cartridges you might want to load. So let's take a, take a look at this graphically. If you go into each of the individual stories, you'll see the Hodgden burn rate chart and little expanded areas showing the specific start and stop of kind of the burn rate range for these classes of cartridges that you'd use these powders for. Here I've kind of got it laid out graphically. So the way burn rate is represented is by a number. The lower number on the chart, the top left of the chart, is the fastest. That's where you'd have pistol. That's on the left on this bar here. In the middle here is what I would consider normal rifle burn rates uh, for things like 223 and 308 and so on and so forth. And then towards the right you have the slower powders, which are magnum powders, 300 wind mag, 7 rem mag, etc., etc. So stable match is kind of in the middle. It's very similar to Varget in burn rate. And Varget is a powder that we use for a lot of different things, 223, 308, uh, 6 Dasher, 6 GT, and it's a good performer. So now to have a ball powder in that category is a, a big plus. Then you have Stayball 6.5, which is a little slower. It's very similar to H4350 in burn rate. And that means it's a great powder for the Creedmoor class of cartridges. We've loaded 25 Creedmoor, we've loaded 6.5 Creedmoor, and 6 Creedmoor was Stayball 6.5, and it's performed real well with all three of those. Then we have Stayball HD, which is in that Magnum burn rate range, similar to H1000 or Rotumbo, and that gives you flexibility with a wide variety of cartridges that use magnum slow burn rate speeds. So that's a rough overview of the burn rates. Uh, I took a compilation of microscope pictures to show you kind of what the granules look like. Uh, over on the left hand side here, we have an older image from an older story, the Stayball 65 story, where we see Stayball 65. And then in the middle, we have H4350. And then at the right, we have Vitivori N555. To the right of that, we have Stayball Match. And this close up shows that this powder is a little bit different. There's kind of a combination of flattened discs, almost like flakes, 
and there's some spherical granules there as well and kind of some granules that are sort of in between. It's a little bit more of a mix in that formulation. And then at the far right, we have Stable HD, which has larger flattened balls and they are more consistent in terms of the profile, the shape, and the consistency of those granules. So this kind of shows you what these different powders look like next to each other or next to some other powders. Uh, how about cartridges? So Stable Match, really good for those Varget Speed cartridges like 223, 308, 6GT, 30 out 6, and more. Stable 65, 65 Creedmoor, 7mm08, 270 Win, and more. And Stable HD, definitely good for things like 300 PRC, 300 Win Mag, 7 PRC, and so on and so forth. And for each of these powders, we've used them in multiple cartridges and gotten really impressive velocities out of these. So let's talk about Stable Match test data. This is directly from that story. 223 REM, 55 grain bullet, kind of a classic pairing there. 26.5 grains yielded an average velocity of 3161. I think our SDs were somewhere in the 15 range for both of these, if I remember correctly. 308 Winchester with the 155 grain, classic Hornady Amax, 45, 48.5 grains yielded 2893 feet per second. So real solid performance. And for Stable 6.5, we had really good results with both 25 Creedmoor and 6.5 Creedmoor. So the 25 Creedmoor with a 131 ace bullet and 43.6 grains of powder yielded a velocity of 2914 feet per second with an SD of 6.8 feet per second and an ES of 13 feet per second. This was a really accurate load as well, so that's what I call turn and burn. Just take that load and run with it for a PRS competition, for an NRL hunter competition, that kind of thing. And then for 6.5 Creedmoor, we had a couple loads that stood out. With the 135 grain A-tip bullet, we had 45 grains of powder yielding 2839 feet per second with an SD of 4.3 and an ES of eight, outstanding. The 140 hybrid wasn't far behind it. 44 grains of powder yielded an average velocity of 27.57 with an SD of 4.7 and an ES of nine. We did a little bit more load development with the Stable 6.5. So I'm expecting if we did that with Stable Match, we'd probably find tighter velocity spreads. Okay. Stayball HD, this was a little bit like Stayball Match. We threw together a couple loads and shot them. 7 PRC, 175 ELDX, 71.1 grains, yielded 2848 feet per second for velocity and an SD of 13.8. What's impressive about this is that was a 22 inch barrel. So if you go up to something like a 28 inch barrel, I'm thinking you're gonna be really, really pushing velocity up high. 300 PRC was Stayball, HD 212 ELDX classic hunting bullet for that cartridge. 81.1 grains yielded an average velocity of 29.52. That is sailing along pretty fast and an SD of 8.6. 26 inch barrel on the 300 PRC that we used for that testing. Okay, so we're just getting started with our loads on the Stable Match and Stable HD side. Uh, we've already had really good results across the board with Stable 6.5. We like these powders. And one of the reasons we like these powders is we do like to load bulk match ammo on a progressive, like a Dillon RL550C, something like that. And I've got more content coming up. So buckle up for that. It's gonna be really, really cool. I'm thinking to put 6GT together with Stable Match and, and we're gonna look at thousand yard results, single stage versus progressive head to head. That's gonna be a pretty fun one. Okay, these powders are temperature stable. That's really important where we are at because we shoot in temperatures from well below zero to well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and that's quite a swing. Nice to know that you have less pressure problems or less performance problems with those wide swings in temperature. The copper reduction is always a plus and really, really good velocities with uh, these powders. So the performance is there, the great metering is there, the temperature stability is there, and the copper fouling reduction agent is there. If you can find this powder, it's kind of in high demand right now, 
I definitely recommend you give it a try. Stay tuned for those future stories I mentioned. You're going to want to make sure that you're subscribed with notifications. And here's what I'd like to know is, have you gotten your hands on some of this Stayball powder, regardless of which one? Drop a comment and let us know how you like it and how it's been performing for you, what you're loading it with. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you're interested in becoming a professional gunsmith, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute. They've got a degree program, they've got a certificate program, and you can study from home. Learn more at sdi.edu. Thanks again for watching.